right guys here we are back again and this is round two um, I had an experience on eBay that was less than ideal let's just say I think the amp that I bought might have been bad um, it was a sound digital 5k 2 ohm model and quote unquote Brazil so I don't know they were selling it for like 600 bucks free shipping free returns within 30 days I'm like hey let's check it out you know 600 bucks 1200 or 5k that would be a great deal so unfortunately the amp I received just got smoking hot not playing any music at all after 45 minutes and then when I did play music and get on it with what I was running it got burning hot so I'm gonna test this one this is a refurb from sounds of tri-state uh, I learned about sounds of tri-state from Big D Wiz Williston audio um, so I'm like heck with it let's power this thing up leave it on for about 45 minutes and see if it gets hot so I'm gonna hit the remote now we're gonna get this in here Let's see here so it looks like she's on and looks like the fan started to run second guys kind of hard to do with uh, one hand I'm gonna tighten down this remote I got my wire cutters just in case we need to pull the plug on this thing there we go that should do it all right let's see here Yeah, I don't think the fans are running. We got the we got the on light, that's for sure. The go daddy go. This is a excess power battery, of course, that came out of my car. I was on vacation in Arizona and it just seemed like it was losing its oomph. Um so I went ahead and replaced it. I got a battery that's probably not as stout as that, but it's an AGM from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Almost ex as expensive, but not quite as, uh, not not as strong. It doesn't have the, the amperage that this thing's got. This is a little guy with 872 cranking amps, 32 degrees. I think the other one I bought was like six or 700 cranking amps at the same temperature but anyway well what you see here I got the clock started so let's just call it 10 to 7 probably hooked it up a little bit before that but I'm gonna find out if this thing this is a refurb, by the way. Not a brand new amp, but it sure does look new. The way it showed up, it was all shrink wrap, new packaging, new accessories. I got the Allen wrenches, mounting screws. Well packaged. Uh, showed up pretty quick, too. Uh, let's see. Just out of curiosity, let's get out the trusty Craftsman voltmeter see what kind of juice we got going on here just for giggles right yeah this should be all right okay well I'm gonna pause here and uh, come back in uh, 45 minutes 
All right, guys, we're about 15 minutes in or so, and the fans finally kicked on. Uh, the heat sink is just a there's just a hint of warm. It's not it's not bad at all, really. But these fans, not so good, not so good. A little rough sounding. Kind of cheap on the fan side, and that's something with an amp this small and powerful. You want reliable fans. You want your fans failing on you. So, well, that's why I'm gonna put a couple of these guys in there because they seem to work really good there. They're quiet and reliable. I think they got a three year warranty on them or something like that. Noctua. Anyway, be back in a little bit. Well, guys, I think this one might be all right. You know, it's kind of lukewarm, but it isn't burning hot like the last one. This one's just kind of lukewarm. Fans came on about, I don't know, 10, I think 10 minutes in. And they haven't increased in speed or anything. So, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna install this and see how it, how it does in real world conditions. Um, I clamped my system uh, a couple weeks ago and looks like I'm rising to f about 5 ohms just under 5 ohms across the board except where my peaks at which that rises to almost 11 uh, at 40 hertz at full power but yeah get this puppy installed and run it through its paces Let's see what happens until next time.